Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy Jojo back with another video, man. It's another banger, another banger for you today. But this weekend, I'm about to go to PCB. No, not for spring break, not for no summer vacation. We're going up this weekend to learn about the Lord, grow further in our faith, and just grow with our teammates, with some of my teammates. So it's gonna be like me and 22 other guys from my team. We're about to go down to PCB for something called Mini Camp, Campus Outreach Mini Camp. We're gonna get some good messages from Demario Davis, Sam Acho, and one of the other uh, leaders on staff with Campus Outreach. Man, it's gonna be a fun time. I just want y'all to come with me, experience the fun time we're gonna get. It's about to be lit, it's about to be live. Man, y'all just stay tuned for the video, man. I love y'all, peace. It means something to obey and it means something to disobey God's word. And I'm just a living proof of um, following God's word, listening to God's word, um, and what happens when we don't listen to God's word. Man, you know what it is. Hidden Lagoon. Y'all finna go down. Mini golf for Jesus. For the first hole with That's three. That's three. I'm going after. Okay. Go back down, go back down, go back down, go back down. Yes, sir. <laughs> Blue balls, man. I get the best of you. What did he say? Hey. Oh. I still got on this. Okay, you see, now, now you just want to be a follower, bro. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice, Cam. You're him at the. I ain't gonna lie, that was, that was very cringe right there. That was very cringe. A total of 18, I mean, we just walked. Bro, you're him. Put my balls in the hole. Okay. <laughs> Alright. 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 Oh. <laughs> that don't count. Please don't be fireworks here. Blow out, man. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, that's it. That's the one right there, bro. I lied. I'm shaking in the boots right here. Never mind. Mini camp day two, you know what I'm saying? A little hot out here today. About to hit the beach. We just got back from a session with Demario Davis. Ate some lunch. But yeah, about to go chill on the beach. Hang out with the teammates, you know. Play some walk ball or something like that. See you on a little bit. Out here running real quick. 15 minutes one way, 15 minutes back. Slight little jog. Walking in the neighborhood right now, but trying to get that grinding, even though we still out here in PCB, you know, learning more about God, having fun with my teammates and stuff, but still got to get that grinding, you know. Grind don't stop, brother. Y'all go out. Be great. Love y'all. Just got finished with my dog. Look at it, bro. I'm telling you, one day, I'm have a beach house. But yeah. I hit the beach with some of my boys. They're already out there playing some white ball or something, but I had to get lit. <laughs> but that's so fun. Hey, yeah, see y'all a little bit. Come on, Brent. Hey, boys. Boys. Johnny. Johnny. Hey. This man can't swim, bro. Okay. Yeah, I can't swim, bro. I can't. <laughs> bro, jump, bro. If you're going to jump, bro. <laughs> that was the most graceful swim dive ever, bro. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. Ozzy, oi, Ozzy, oi. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. He's cheating. He's cheating. He's cheating, bro. He's scared. He's scared to get salt and, salt and pepper cracks back on him. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <gasps> Come on, man. That's too easy.
just us as men is, I regret not getting everything I had. And uh, man, I just think like that specific moment, I kind of reflected on my four years of Troy, and I was just like, man, there was moments when I held back. And I think I held back because I had a fear that I wasn't gonna have enough, you know? And then I think the, the other regret I had too is, I don't, I don't know if this relates to you guys, but, but when, I, when I played, like I just idolized time. And the reason why I idolized time was my coaches dictated my schedule, my professors dictated my schedule, Everybody was telling me what to do, and in some ways that was good because I wasn't a super organized guy, so it's kind of good. Right, I gotta wake up at 5.30, because coach told me so. But whenever I had my time, it's almost like I swung all the way over and was like, this is my time. And I feel like I was really close-handed on that. And when I look back at my time, it wasn't even my time, it was Jesus' time. And man, I don't, yeah, I regret not giving it all on the field, but that's like this small compared to all the missed opportunities I had of really getting to know my teammates and, and sharing the gospel with them. That's what I regret. Just got finished with another sermon. I got a little snack. And then we're about to go go kart racing. So it should be fun. Learn about the word of God. How to be a Christian, be a godly man and all of that. So yeah. See y'all a little bit. Big old fatty. Get out of the way. Well, Garrett gets his own cart. I get my own cart because I'm fat. Yeah, you guys too because he's fat. What's up, Joe Joe? What we got here? We're going to walk with a go kart? Yeah, man. They're going to give you a double motor. Wow. What's up, JoJo? Or maybe that's just for Donnie. Yeah, it's just for Donnie. We've got to get some 5105s then on the track. We can ride together and get a double motor. We could. Ooh, hey, hey, hey. Don't tempt me with a good time now. Huh? About to dust all these boys, you know, about to be something light. Got six laps, about to dust them all. About to be like Mario Kart, for real, for real. These two taking L's against me. I'm about to be the fastest dude out there. Fast. You know, young and about to win this thing, about to catch the dub. I'll see y'all a little bit. You know, not the outcome I wanted, but I had fun, you know what I'm saying? I came in last for a reason, you know. It says in the Bible, whoever's first shall be last, and whoever's last shall be first. So, you know, technically I won the race, according to God's time. I was trying to slow down and whoop y'all, but I was too fast. Racing is all about the corners. Once you got a turn, you got to go wide, and then, you feel what I'm saying? You got to go wide, and then, you feel me? Because then you're going to do that, you're going to get wide and come in, you're going to feel speed. That's how, that's how uh, overtook Will. Well, yeah, I'm a real racer. I play racing games going up. You know what I'm saying? Real NASCAR 2025, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, the woo. I used to run away from the cops back in the day. We do not care. Number two, number two out here. You know what I'm saying? With me. You know what I'm saying? Out here. He ain't like that for real, for real. Great race. Loved it. He's already raced. I was in first. Blew it. Spun him out, got second. We had some dirty racers on the track, kicking stuff up in the eyes, you know. Getting all Cheaters the never win, man. Cheaters never win. Hey, I just took the dub there, folks. Started in the second group, caught back up to the first group, got third place, made a medal, all take runs, all day Two biting issues. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Please stop inflation. Boy, if you don't get... I just want to say this, this place is really... 
We're really just doing big boys down bad. Yeah, they expect us to be out here to perform with these 115, 120 laying dudes. We got 310, 290, 270 on the cart. Are we supposed to compete? How are we supposed to compete? Make it fair. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> Waffle House push. Trying to go to bed. Round two. My eyes hurt. Uh, uh, just finished first in uh, go kart racing. Been a good night. That's These are the two winners right here, man. I mean, oh, you That's hard. That's hard. How much do you weigh? How much do you weigh? 108 pounds. How much do you weigh? Uh, 211. Lion. Oh yeah. We out, Clark. We out. He would have put that in, man. You know, he's large. I think Fred got you beat, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Got him beat, man. Got him beat. Come on. Gotta get back in that weight room now. Yeah, he a little man. Come on, man. Oh, you gotta pull off the side with the tattoos, huh? Yeah, yeah. You see? Yeah, yeah. They show off the tattoos. And just one thing, just real quick, I see some like outside linebackers and defensive guys from offensive linemen. Uh, one of my favorite coaches' name is Big Candido. And he said two things. Number one, he said, little things done well make big things happen. Mm. Little things. Little things. Maybe it's uh, showing up on time. Maybe it's taking notes. Not like a few Maybe it's taking notes. Maybe it's like running through the line. Maybe it's like finishing that last set. Little things done well make big things happen. That was the first thing that he said. The other thing he talked about is this idea of death by inches. Death by inches. What does that mean? And the example for him was like meetings like this, right? Not, I'm not to use this as an example, I guess I kind of am, but like meetings like this, right? We'd have a, a, a I don't know, 8 a.m. team meeting with the Bears, right? And guys would walk in like 8 o'clock in like 30 seconds, you know what I mean? Or like 801, right? Some of our best guys get, you know, 20, 30 million, right? 40 million dollars, 802, right? It's not school, like it's good. Like, you got 20 sacks last year, we're good. But all of a sudden, like, he walks in late, and, like, another person walks in late, and everybody else walks in. And all of a sudden, like, all this valuable meeting time, right, the stuff that actually makes you great, watching film, preparing, like, actually being disciplined, being a team, being accountable, like, that inch that you give up, even in football, talk about a game of inches, like, death comes, it can come in inches. Talking about like, man, I said, Vic, what do I need to do like to be great? Is it like, I need to get a better position? Is it like my angle? He said, man, win first contact. So what does that mean? So I'm not just, if we can't like get in a stance, and you get, I'll get in a stance. Um, <laughs> and like, we can just, just they didn't even walk through. It's like, just take like three steps. But, and you really understand. Like, you're like, you're, you're, you're. And so like, just like, I'll say hut. Just like, go kind of slow, but like, Try to touch him first. What's your name? Vaughn. What's your name? Darian. I want y'all to see who touches who first. We lose like two or three times, right? We lose not a competition. Kind of, uh, <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna just say hut. Don't hurt yourself. Down, set, hut. Boom, right? So who, y'all see who, who touched who first? Darian. Who? Darian? O-line. Down, set, hut. Boom. That was definitely O-line, right? Yeah. Down, set, hut. One thing that my coach talked about is like, and it's hard to do with like, you know, we're not really like going up here, but winning first contact, like be the first one to touch, because usually whoever's the first one to touch wins. Just getting back to the crib. You no, know, had a fun weekend. Learned a lot. Got a fun show with my teammates, learned a lot about Jesus, in my own identity and stuff like that. So, mini camp 2023, success. Man, y'all just like, comment, subscribe on the video.
see y'all for the next video. Love y'all. Peace.